So today I'm talking about a P2198 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2198 code? Well, it's a bank one air fuel ratio imbalance. And what does this mean? Well, there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And with the P2198 code, for some reason, this bank one sensor one oxygen sensor is reading that the air fuel ratio mixture is off. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, no why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, bank one is always gonna be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that side is gonna be bank one, and then the opposite of that would be bank two. And one thing about this code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since it could be caused by so many different things. And so if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that'll help point to what the problem is because this code can be caused by many different things. And so what are some possible causes of a P2198 code? Well, the first thing that can cause this is going to be that that upstream sensor one oxygen sensor is just failed and just needs to be replaced. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, you can test it to see if it has failed. I made a video on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. The next thing that can cause this is going to be that the purge valve is stuck open. And the purge valve is part of the EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off. And if this gets stuck open, then all the gas vapors can be just constantly flooding into the engine. There's a really quick test that you could do to see if it is stuck open. Basically, you remove the hose going back to the charcoal canister and you unplug the harness. And then you start up the engine, you check to see if there's a vacuum right here. And if there is a vacuum, then it means it's stuck open. Because when the harness is unplugged, there's no way for the computer to send it a signal to open. And so it should be closed. And with the engine running, you shouldn't be able to feel no vacuum right here. I made a video on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing it could cause is the purge valve is stuck open. The next thing that could cause is gonna be that there's a bad injector on bank one. One or more of the injectors might have just failed. It might just be causing issues. There's some different ways you go about checking to see if the injector failed. One method you can use, if you could just remove the spark plugs on bank one and just check to see how they're burning and then match them up to a burn chart, that'll tell you if one of the cylinders is running too rich or too lean or something like that. Because basically if the tip's really black, then that means it's running too rich. And if the tip is really white, then that means it's running too lean. Like I said, you can look up spark plug burn charts online and you can match them up to see exactly how the cylinder is running. But for example, say you pull out a spark plug and it's really black and it points to that cylinder running too rich, then you know that cylinder is having an issue. You could test the fuel injector or you could swap the fuel injector with another bank or something like that. But that's just one method of many. There's a lot of good videos on how you go about testing a fuel injector. But the next thing that can cause this is going to be a bad fuel injector. Another thing that can cause this is going to be that the fuel pressure is off. Off. it's either too high or too low or something like that a really quick way you could check to see if this is the problem is that you get a fuel pressure gauge and you attach it to the fuel rail and then you start up the engine you check to see what your engine rated fuel pressure is supposed to be running at since there can be differences but say for example your engine is supposed to be running at 60 psi but for some reason you're getting 50 psi then you know there's an issue with fuel pressure and this could be different things could be a bad fuel pump could be a clock fuel filter something along those lines. But a quick way to see if that is the problem is to do a fuel pressure test. The next thing that could cause this is gonna be that there's a dirty or bad MAP sensor. The MAP sensor is located near the air intake box and it basically just measures all the air going into the engine. And then the computer uses this to calculate the air fuel ratio mixture. If that sensor gets really dirty or if it goes bad, then it can throw everything off and cause issues. Usually you'll get a code if that MAP sensor does go bad. But the next thing that could cause this is gonna be a bad mass airflow sensor. The next thing that could cause this is gonna be that there's a vacuum leak somewhere going on around the engine and basically this means something like a bad hose bad valve cover gaskets something like that there's some different methods for trying to find a vacuum leak one method is the smoke machine method where you feed smoke into the intake and then wherever the smoke comes out then you know where the leaks at and you'll be able to fix it but the next thing that could cause is going to be a vacuum leak an exhaust leak can also cause this problem. When this happens, outside air is getting into the exhaust and it can throw off those O2 sensors because they'll be reading the oxygen from the outside air and that can cause issues. So the next thing on the list is gonna be exhaust leak. And the last thing on the list is gonna be a bad PCV valve. When these go bad, they can start to fill up with oil and different things like this. And this can leak into the intake, which will be burned off inside the cylinders and that can throw things off. And so the last thing on the list is gonna be a bad PCV valve. And so that's basically it. I just wanna give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P219A code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.